Hello everybody, my name is Hassan Nafi. I am an anatomy and physiology instructor at Madison College in Wisconsin. I wanted to talk to you today about body cavities. Body cavities are areas where are bonded by walls or sacs and they enclose and contain important organs. We have identified many cavities in our body. There is a major one that we're going to go through and there is minor ones that we're just going to mention and um, talk a little bit about it. These body cavities are lined with specific type or particular type of covering we called it epithelium and the epithelium are a type of tissues that lines up these cavities, give them the protection and the features that helps these cavities to perform that particular function. Starting from the top of the body, we are going to talk about the cavities that encloses the brain. Bring this guy here. This is what you call the cranial cavity. The cranial cavity is the cavity that contains the brain. So if you take a look at this skull here, inside the skull, which is called the cranium, you will find the brain enclosed here, and this is the cranial cavity. You go on the back of the body, the camera a little bit away, we could identify the spinal cavity. And the spinal cavity is a cavity that enclosed and contains the spinal cord and the meninges. Inside this cavity, you're gonna find the spinal cord. And this cavity is a posterior cavity. Well, that means it falls on the backside of the body location. Okay, so if you put this in this position, we could identify this part of the body being the back part or posterior. So the spinal cavity is a posterior cavity, while the cranial cavity is an anterior cavity. You go down a little bit, we're going to find the thoracic cavity. And the thoracic cavity is contained in the rib cages or thoracic cage. It does contain the lungs, the two lungs right and left, and it does contain the heart. The heart itself is enclosed in what's known as the pericardial cavity. So the pericardial cavity is a subcavity of the thoracic cavity and it does enclose and includes the heart and the great vessels, the lower part of the great vessels. The thoracic cavity is separated by a strong muscle here called the diaphragm from the abdominal cavity. And the abdominal cavity is the second largest or the first largest cavity in our body that is uh, located lower to the or inferior to the thoracic cavity. The abdominal cavity contains most of the viscera, most of the organs. If you look here, you will find the liver, stomach, the colon with its three parts, ascending, descending, transverse, the small intestine, and even more. We go back, we can find the kidneys, the ureters, and the pancreas. All these are enclosed in the abdominal cavity. If we go down a little bit further, you are going to identify the pelvic cavity. And actually the pelvic cavity is not separated by any partition from the abdominal cavity. So the abdominal cavity and the pelvic cavities are connected together and they're just one uh, big sac. Organs identified in the pelvic cavities are the ovaries, the bladder, 
the lower part of the ureters, the fallopian tubes, and so forth. Um, the abdominal cavity and the pelvic cavity, they kind of share, and sometimes they kind of um, switch places in some conditions. Good example in case of a pregnant uterus, a lady that is pregnant in her eighth month or term, the uterus will grow up and grow and it's gonna push all this abdominal viscera and it might reach up to the level above the umbilicus and that's exactly what you see in a full term pregnancy. Eight month pregnancy, the uterus will occupy most of the abdominal pelvic cavities and that sometimes um, explains the, the symptoms that pregnant um, women experience as indigestion, inability to eat uh, big meals, or um, sometimes a little respiratory discomfort that might accompany um, pregnancy. On the other side, in some cases, if there is any abdominal enlargement like hepatomegaly or ascites or any other conditions that will cause distension and enlargement of the abdominal content, this will push down and the um, pelvic cavity and occupy most of the pelvic cavity. So, um, also I have the pelvis here I want to share with you. This is where you find the pelvic cavity. The bones are here. This is the pelvic bones. And so the pelvic cavity is that part uh, which is bounded by most of the pelvic bones um, pieces. To summarize, we have these cavities. We have the cranial cavity which is in the skull and it contains the brain. We have the thoracic cavity which contains the heart, the lungs, the great vessels. And we have the abdominal cavity which contains most of the viscera, the liver, the stomach, the intestine. We have the pelvic cavity which contains the pelvic organs and we have in the back the spinal cavity which contains the spinal cord and the meninges that is covering it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.